welcome to the OVA Ignis overview. So I have imported some stools, post-processing and grass from the asset store. And uh, I have not done anything but placed colliders to the stool. So let's start. Uh, select convert flammable object. You will be prompted if you want to convert the shader. This is totally optional. You don't need to do this, but for nice burn wood effect, click yes. And uh, so you will be see you will see that flammable object component is created, and then the flame engine is created to your sheen. Uh, also, your shader is converted with uh, your your colors and stuff. So if you don't want to place any shaders, uh, place any colliders or anything, you just want fire, click use mess fire. Maybe I will put this so it will look better. And uh, then just try it out, set this on fire and start, and then press play. Frame rate is probably horrible since I'm recording and then I don't have such a good computer. Uh, okay, so the flames are already there, but they are in the random places since the locations are just randomized. So for the better effect, you can place some colliders like I have done already. to tell the where the flames should be. So when you have placed the colliders, you can take, use mess fire out and then debug flames. So you will see the flames in the, in the edit mode. And then you have all these options to customize the, your flames. Maybe you don't want so long flames, but you, you want maybe more particles and maybe maybe more fast fast flames okay not so fast and maybe more reliably flames let's put there some options okay so they already seem pretty interesting and uh, you can also change the color of the flames Just multiply it so it will blend in. Nice blue flames already there going on. Okay, maybe that's too much. Yeah. So it will it looks already pretty good if you want blue flames. And uh, then just press play and let's see how it looks. Okay, good. If you want to change the variables on the runtime, you need to tick this. It will affect the performance a little, but you can then also change the shader options. Yeah. You can have some crazy crazy effects going on if you want okay so that's the basic for the for the stool and the flame will burn out after the burnout start seconds and will last for five seconds here. So you will get some burned wood effect there. And uh, okay, that's the basics. Let's just convert also the vegetation 
plumbable vegetation. It, it doesn't have any lead shaders, so you cannot convert it to burning wood, but you don't need to because this su supports also other shaders than my own. Uh, you can add the shaders, shader parameters, if you have your own, or you can use some of the built-in shaders or ask, ask me to add some shader support. I have the instruction for it and uh, okay let's just debug the flames in the grass okay so they look pretty good to me already I will add the length a little and maybe not so much in, put them to the middle and maybe a little more speed not too much okay and if you want you can also also use the wind to affect the flames so let's press play. And the uh, objects are already flammable after you attach the script and the convert the flames to your liking. And uh, so I didn't take this box of the grass. So let's light it up in flames then from the stool there you go I don't quite it's so like it's so yellow so I will show you just a, just a second If you have a vegetation engine, you can use the wind to affect the flames. Okay, that's the basics, really. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you liked the video.